With so many apps for your Fire Stick and Fire TV, it can be challenging to figure out which ones are good and which ones you can skip. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top three free apps for June 2025 that I think you'll really like. You can install these apps on any Fire Stick, Fire Cube or Fire TV, but in this video I'll be showing you how to use them on the second generation Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Let's check them out. Undoubtedly, Downloader is a must-have app for every Fire TV Stick, Fire Cube and Fire TV owner. Its unique features such as being able to sideload apps, download files and the built-in Google search and web browser make it an essential tool for easy internet navigation on your Fire Stick. Downloader makes things even easier by using short codes so that users can quickly access their favourite web pages, such as My Downloads page. Now, this can enhance your Fire Stick experience by providing access to over 400 additional apps for free entertainment content. You can also save these short codes for easy access to your preferred sites whenever you need them. Installing the Downloader app is a breeze. Simply go to the Amazon App Store, search for Downloader and install it. Once installed, enter my short code, which is 28907, and add it to your favourites. This will give you access to my downloads page, where you can install free apps for sports, movies, live TV channels and more. If you'd like to learn more about the Downloader app and how to use my downloads page to add free apps to your Fire Stick, check out my detailed tutorial by clicking on the link above or in the description below this video. The next must-have app on my list is VLC Player. Now this media player is incredibly versatile and can be used as an external player for third-party streaming apps. Additionally, if you have video files saved on your computer or network drive, VLC Player can connect to them and stream videos over your home network. Now this is particularly helpful for playing video files larger than four gigabytes, as Fire TV devices cannot handle files of this size. To access your local network using VLC Player, go to the menu and select the browsing option. Wait a few seconds and if your computer or network drive is discoverable, VLC Player will automatically detect it provided your Fire Stick is connected to the same home network. If you have set a username and password for access, enter them to browse files and stream them to your Fire Stick. VLC Player can be found in the Amazon App Store. Search for VLC, then download and install it. If you often misplace your Fire TV remote or are looking for an easy way to copy and paste text from your phone to your Fire Stick, the Amazon Fire TV app is a game changer for your Fire Stick experience. Using it makes navigation a breeze, allows quick access to compatible apps and simplifies typing in long web addresses, usernames and passwords. The app is available through the App Store for Android and iOS mobile phones and tablets. After installing the app, you'll need to link it to your Fire Stick device. 
To do this, select the Set up new device option and choose the device you wish to connect – Fire TV, Fire TV Blaster or Fire TV Recast. Follow the on-screen instructions to enable location services and select Allow to give the app the necessary permissions to find nearby Fire TV devices. Once the nearby devices have been located, select your device name. A connection request message and a PIN will appear on your Fire Stick. Enter this PIN in the Amazon Fire TV app to pair it with your Fire Stick. Now that your phone or tablet is connected, you can easily navigate your Fire Stick using the directional buttons. To quickly open compatible apps, press the Apps button. You can also use the keyboard to type in long web addresses, usernames and passwords and copy and paste URLs for Kodi add-ons or M3U links for your IPTV service. Swiping left reveals more controls including buttons for live TV and changing channels. Now, Some users may also see a volume control option. If it's missing for you, update the app to the latest version. Now, while this doesn't guarantee volume control, it's always a good idea to have the most current version. These are my top three free Fire Stick apps for June 2025. They are great additions that I hope you will find useful and use often. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and help to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.